today we're going to look at the anecdotes. Uh, I'm going to explain and show you a presentation. Uh, anecdotes is uh, part of actually uh, author's purpose. Uh, so this is unit one, the first story, uh, Life on the Mississippi River. So we know that every author has a purpose or multiple purposes for writing. For example, an author may write to inform to persuade, to describe, or to entertain, which we call this pie. One of uh, Twain's purposes for writing Life on the Mississippi is to entertain readers, which he does by using anecdotes and humorous descriptions. So anecdotes are brief stories about interesting, amusing, or strange events. So basically the writer uh, uh, uses these anecdotes from his or her own life. Writers include anecdotes to entertain and to make a point. For example, Twain entertains readers by sharing an anecdote about how he ran away and tried to join a steamboat crew. He explains that he got only a cold shoulder and short words from mates and clerks. At the same time, Twain is making a point about his burning ambition to become a steamboat man. So you will understand this once you read the story. Uh, you will understand it uh, better. And what is uh, a humorous uh, description? So humorous descriptions present details that appeal to the senses, even they amuse readers. Humorous details in this example from paragraph four of the story appeal to the senses of sight and touch. So when you use the sensory details, it makes the reader uh, feel uh, what you are feeling or visualize what you are uh, seeing. He would always manage to have a rusty bolt to scrub while his boat tarried at our town, and he would sit on the inside guard and scrub it, where we would all, where we could all see him and envy him and loathe him. In addition to being funny, Mark Twain's writing has an undercurrent of social commentary. So social commentary is like a discerning examination of society. So basically, if something is wrong within the society, then he makes a comment on that. Twain shares his keen observations of human weakness, which he usually describes with affection. In Life on the Mississippi, Twain looks back on his friends and neighbors fondly, but he also points out their flaws, like the uh, missing uh, character uh, traits. Now I'm going to show you uh, a PowerPoint to recap the subject. So let's have a look at this. So the story of the anecdote. What is an anecdote? So anecdotes are short narrative accounts of an amusing, unusual, revealing, or interesting event. Basically, they are stories. So it's a story within a story. What is the purpose? Usually a person tells an anecdote to provide the audience with a clear example that proves a certain point. An anecdote could be used to describe a person's personality. You understand the writer's uh, point of view and his or her character better. Anecdotes with an amusing plot are used to create humor. For example, many people at events such as family reunions tell embarrassing yet funny stories. What is the effect of this? Because the ane anecdote acts as evidence for a claim, they help the audience agree with and see the author's point. Anecdotes describing a person will influence the audience uh, perspective of the person being described. So you get to know better about the characters. Anecdotes describing a humorous event evoke laughter. So this is an example. You can read this. Mr. Bruner hates uh, chapstick. One time someone applied it during class and Mr. Bruner saw the marker that Mr. Bruner was using suddenly fell out of his hands and Mr. Bruner's face began turning red in anger. He began yelling and threatening to kick the person out of the room for putting on chapstick. So Stephanie Erickson here begins her article, The Ways We Lie, with a story about a typical day for her and the lies involved in that day. Or in William Shakespeare's play, The Tragedy of Julius Caesar in Act One, Scene Two, 
Cassius tells Brutus the story of how Caesar almost drawn and begged Cassius to save him and how Caesar got sick on a trip and begged like a girl for water. So these are all personal stories. So related terms, exemplum, so basically it's an example that highlights a point. Uh, fables, like a short story with human-like animals and other objects that teaches a moral lesson, so you can learn a moral lesson. And a second. So basically, and the work cited, these are all from these uh, websites. So basically, this is what anecdote is. When you uh, answer your worksheet, these, this information is going to uh, help you. Thank you. See you in another video. Bye-bye.